Welcome to the Finance Up channel. Please watch the video to the end and if you like it, support the channel with a like and subscribe. Let's go. In this video, you will learn why the motion was filed to gather data on all XRP sales made on Binance, the largest crypto exchange by trading volume. Before starting the video, try to guess how much one token will cost in two weeks and write your answer in the comments. If someone manages to guess the exact figure, we will transfer 1,000 tokens to his wallet. Subscription and like under the video are mandatory conditions for participation. The presiding judge in Ripple's ongoing lawsuit with the Securities and Exchange Commission has granted Brad Garlinghouse's motion to obtain documents from Binance. Garlinghouse is one of the defendants in the lawsuit filed by the SEC for an alleged violation of the Securities Act of 1933. Last week, the legal team representing Garlinghouse filed a motion requesting data on XRP sales from Binance, the largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume. The motion of request was made as part of the foreign discovery process by Ripple to gather data on all XRP sales made on the exchange. The motion was recently approved, which is not surprising as the SEC did not object to it. The approval has been considered a small win for Ripple in the legal case. The court will now issue a letter of request to the Cayman Islands-based exchange on behalf of Garlinghouse. If Binance heeds to the request, it will provide documents that may be used as evidence in the case. In the lawsuit filed in December 2020, the SEC alleged that Ripple and its executives, CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Executive Chairman Chris Larson, sold unregistered securities profited $1.3 billion in unregistered security sales over the span of eight years. The allegation has been refuted by Ripple's legal team. They also recently cited the lack of clarity defense and said that the SEC did not make its securities regulations clearer. Now, they have planned another defense. By showing XRP sales that occurred outside the US, the Ripple team plans to show that the SEC may not have jurisdiction over such sales. XRP price has revived fairly well off its low set in late July. Prices have risen nearly 50% over the past two weeks as XRP struggles to break its major resistance zone of 77 cents. Ripple has been battling the SEC over the last eight months over a lawsuit regarding XRP being sold as a security or not. Despite this, XRP is still trading within the market's averages as other coins have had a lesser revival. The overall market is flashing signs that some type of bull trend is here after months of downtrending. Over the last two weeks, XRP price has formed an ascending channel formation. Within the past day, price has fallen below this channel, breaking the bottom uptrend line. This is a short-term bearish scenario as price has already fallen near 5%. At the time of writing, XRP is sitting on its minor support of $0.707. If this support fails to hold, we can expect the price to sweep to the major support of $0.669. XRP's support area of 50 cents has been tested twice since the 19th of May crypto sell-off. The first drawdown came as a result of a symmetrical triangle breakdown while the other was due to the emergence of a down channel. The price managed to reverse on both occasions and the most latest rebound led to a strong rally that pushed XRP towards the $0.785 price ceiling a 57% increase when calculated from 50 cents. However, the 200 SMA, green, played spoiler and stalled XRP's uptrend. This fueled lateral movement on the charts. This was further backed by low volumes and a downtick in buying interest. Court grants motion to obtain XRP documents. The CEO of Ripple has been approved access to Binance documents of XRP transactions. How much will XRP cost by the end 2021? Write your opinion in the comments.